Higgs wants to connect the knots of your network with Emily's beach. So it's pretty clear where they went. So how do we get there? I can't. But you and Emily have a strong connection. You've been to her beach plenty of times, right? You can make the jump. You gonna come through for me? I'll try to take him alive. Promise me, I'm the one who finishes him off. Good. Then I'll help you get where you need to go. I can send us both at once. But I'll be right behind you. I thought you said you couldn't go to her. I can. But I can go to you. By the ties that bind us together. The dream catcher will lead you to her. And then? The Misanga will lead me to you. For going in like that? Yeah, I don't need a weapon. I'm not gonna take Lou either. Fragile. What? Do you have anything to eat? Oh. Got you hooked, huh? <laughs> Sam, be careful. Worst comes to worst. Take care of Lou, all right? this to work. I'll have to touch you. Close your eyes. Now picture Amelie in her beach. You love her, right? You love her. There it is. Emily? Sam? What are you doing here? You ready to end this? Before the end of everything? I'm supposed to do keep the extinction entity safe until the slate is wiped clean. There's no stopping the sixth extinction. No matter what you, me, or anybody else does, humanity has a few hundred thousand years left. Tops. Why don't we just cut to the chase? Accept our fate. Let the creatures before us. We all know what's coming. Why delay the inevitable? Those of us with dooms, her, 
We're all bound here for a reason. We are all of us a part of the death strand. In this place, this fucking beach. There's no repatriation here, no. One of us dies, that's it. He goes to the other side. Nice, huh? Lucky loser gets to put an end to this rinse and repeat bullshit once and for all. So, no BTs, no void outs, no bullshit. Just a good old fashioned boss fight. Stick versus rope. Dunn versus Strand. One more in. For the end. One last game over. I am the particle of God. Come on! it all an ending that's what one coming to us all be it today Six ways from Sunday, and then life itself's been living on borrowed time. Hey, no, over here. the gun, Sam. I can beat you. I can beat you. You okay there, uh. Sam? Oh, <laughs> 
Stop this thing. No one can. We got dooms, Sam. This was only ever gonna end one way. So come on! Touchy feely there, Mr. Often Fosm Phobia. <laughs> well, congratulations. You won the game. Guess I left a lasting impression. I'm fragile, but I'm not that fragile. Did 
This time you are the one who's going to break. Is that right? I think you'll find our bond is made of stronger stuff. <laughs> Already broken. The fuck? I'm Higgs. I'm the particle of God that permeates all existence. What are you? Honey, you ain't nothing but damaged goods. Your damaged goods. I brought you a metaphor. Take it with you. Tell the lie first with Porter Syndrome what happens when you hide behind the mask. No. You keep it. It's better they hear it from the woman herself. One more thing. Your little one managed to bring it here by picturing it as equipment. You mind? Babysitting sucks. So where should I send you? Back east? He doesn't need your help. He's got the Chiral Network. And he's got me. We can jump east together. Lucky him. We appreciate everything you've done for us. We really do. But we're good for now. Besides, I'm sure they need you back at Fragile Express. Yeah. Better to scoop up all the pieces and put them back together. Wouldn't want to settle for anything less than perfection. Fragile. We're square. Nothing owed. Nothing left to say. So long, Sam. Come on. Let's go. We still have work to do. Do you still believe in me? Even without Higgs, I am a walking time bomb. I can end it all just like that. But what I want, what I have always wanted was to be a part of it. For us all to be one. What? 
tell me the truth. Was this all for you or all for Bridget? This is for our country. For our future, that is the truth. There's something that you need to know, Sam. When you were back east, I slipped out of here and I went to visit you. What? Did you lie? Fuck me. You have any idea what it took for me to get here? You wouldn't have come if I hadn't. You didn't care about America or bridges. But we did know one thing you did care about. Something you were willing to cross a continent for. A reason to build the UCA. It was Die Hard Man's idea. Great. So I'm Mario and you're Princess Peach. <laughs> Are you right? I never gave a shit about this country. I have no ties to anything or anyone but you. I'm so sorry, Sam. But it all worked out in the end. I guess that's taken care of. I know you have questions, but can you save them for after? Sure. Let's go home. How do we do it? Do we jump like fragile? No. The beach goes the whole way. We run together. Run? Yeah. Like Mario and Princess Beach. Wait here, okay? Mm -hmm. invited me to the beach. Remember this? It's the same gun. And now I'm using it to make things right. You were supposed to make the world whole. Not fuck it all up. Okay, then. Get on with it. There is no atonement. Not for us.
Sorry. <laughs> Give me back my BB. You're looking in the wrong place. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. Where am I? Back east of the tar belt. Your private room. You have Amelie to thank for that. Where is she? We don't know. She didn't head back east? No, but after she saw to you, she contacted HQ and left us a message. Saying what? I'm going to finish what Bridget started. Just that, and then... gone. Bridget? I saw Bridget on the beach. Sam, please. You yourself burned her body, remember? She wouldn't have remained on the beach. Couldn't have. Not even if it was her daughter's beach. Check the logs. You've got them, don't you? Sorry. We didn't get any of it. The only record we have is the one in your head. What else do you remember? That guy was there, too. Cliff. He took Die Hardman hostage. The director? That part you believe? Well... It would explain why we haven't heard from him for so long. I always suspected him. But now I'm starting to piece together a different narrative. Something's been bothering me, you see. We've been operating on the assumption that Higgs was controlling Cliff. But that can't possibly be correct. Because Higgs is gone. And Cliff is still causing trouble. You think Cliff is the mastermind? Yes. He's likely holding Amelie and the director captive on the beach. And that's where I'm going. 
Wait a minute. Where's Fragile? She's safe, here with us. But so long as you're over there, she won't be able to send you to the beach. What? Uh, you must understand, Sam. While you were unconscious, the situation changed quite a bit. We'll explain everything, I promise. But first, you should rest. All right? Fuck rest. I'm going back to that beach. And little Lou doesn't need a break either, I take it? <sighs> Sam, you helped us extend the chiral network from coast to coast. And you dealt with Higgs, the UCA's enemy number one. We couldn't have come this far without you. But there is still one final step. We have to swear in a new president and establish a functioning government. Only then will America be whole again. Why don't you save that shit for someone who cares? I've done my part. Fuck America. We've got bigger problems now. I hear you, Sam. Government is the least of our concerns at this point. Cliff has Amelie, which means there may not be anything left to govern come tomorrow. If tomorrow comes at all. Then why aren't we out there doing something about it? I don't care what she is, only that we get her back. Right you are. Rescuing Armelie and averting the sixth extinction are one and the same. But neither will be possible unless you first come back east. We are in no position to give you orders, of course. But believe me when I say it is the only way. Sam, everyone's here but you. Fragile transported us back to headquarters. You okay? Uh, never been better. Oh. Oh. Delivering so many people in such a short amount of time is new. Mama. No, no Lagna. Yeah, I'm here too. Figured I should lend a hand. We're all waiting for you, Sam. No way in hell am I hauling myself all the way back there. Come on, Fragile. Let's do this. I can't, Sam. And not just because I'm a wreck. It isn't safe to use the beaches to move people anymore. Chiral spikes have become far more frequent, possibly as a result of expanding the network nationwide. Too many beaches sharing the same space, wires get crossed and so forth. You can see the toll it's taking on the network itself. With things the way they are, it's too dangerous to risk jumping through a beach. Even if I reach a beach, there's no telling where I'll come out on the other side. And I could get stuck in there. That's why I can't go to you either. But if I could get to the entrance of the beach, I should be able to get you there. The beaches are still there after all. I can personally attest to that. So yeah, you will need to hold yourself all the way back here. But once you have, I promise I'll take you to Amelie. Straight to her beach. The two of you share a very special connection. Your dream catcher, her kipu. They are no mere trinkets. They are singular, irreplaceable totems, embodiments of your shared memories. Two sides of a coin. The price of entry to her beach. Dreamcatchers are a product of Native American tradition, that of the Ojibwe people, to be precise. They were said to ward off nightmares, to alter one's dreams. If Dooms is indeed Armelie's gift to us, her shared dream of our future, perhaps your totem is an invitation to change it, a test, challenging you to find hope amid their hopelessness. While we await your return, I'll search the beach for Armelie and the director. I doubt my ties to them are strong enough, but better that than sitting around doing nothing. I'll see if I can't find something in the records on the three of them. Maybe they're more connected than we know. We're waiting for you. The way home should be easier, right? Hurry back east. You already know the way. 
And when you get here... Oh. Finders keepers. Now, get out of there, and make sure you head east, towards Lake Knot City. There's no cargo to deliver this time. Or rather, you're the cargo. That's the mission. Sam, it's Hartman. Be advised that chiral density in regions predisposed to strandings has increased dramatically. No doubt the beach is to blame. BTs drawn into our world under these circumstances may be affected in unpredictable ways.
Sam, do you copy? I've been looking into Clifford Unger and wanted to share my thoughts. To recap, Unger was a U.S. Special Forces operative, whose retirement roughly coincided with the Death Stranding. After he left the service, he somehow became involved in the early BB experiments. However, he died before they ended. Now, while the circumstances surrounding his death are not entirely clear, I'm beginning to suspect that these battlefields of his are at least partially sustained by his enduring emotional attachments. Anger, resentment, regret. I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with the BB experiments. That much seems clear given his repeated attempts to steal Lou. Cliff seems to be driven by a compulsion to reclaim our BB, as if that will make him whole again. A compulsion so powerful that he was not only able to drag himself from the depths of hell, but bring a piece of that hell along with him. One thing's for sure, he's nothing like a BT. We need to know the whole story about his death and his connection to the BB experiments. I'll keep digging and let you know what I find, Sam.
Ja. Sam, you're not going to believe what I found. It's about the BP experiments, their true purpose. According to official records, they were continued in secret on the order of President Strand. Supposedly with the primary objective of developing BT detectors and preventing void outs. Any advancements that could be applied to the fields of chiral communications and beach research were meant to be of purely secondary benefit. But it turns out, that's just a cover story. The truth is, Sam, BBs were originally conceived as catalysts for the operation of the chiral network. They're integrated into the infrastructure of not cities for that very reason. Every single one you've brought into the fold. It was probably Amelie herself who installed them as she moved west with the first expedition, carrying out her mother's grand plan making sacrifice after sacrifice on the altar of progress. President Strand told the people what they wanted to hear and did what she thought had to be done. Also, America could be whole again, but I'm starting to wonder if it didn't cost her her soul. The chiral network is our greatest creation, our proudest achievement, and our guiltiest sin. I don't know how to feel about it all. Maybe if we knew more about Cliff and the BB experiments, we'd be better placed to judge. I'll be in touch.
Hey, Sam, I see you're coming up on Lake Knot. Stay strong. We're all rooting for you to finish the job and come home safe. By the way, I've made more progress in a certain investigation. It seems that Clifford Unger willingly put his own child in the care of the scientists conducting the BB experiments. But he did so completely unaware of their true intentions. This is pure speculation. But I think when Cliff found out about their plans, he attempted to reclaim custody. And after he failed, the BB remained in the program's care. In which case, he would have every reason to bear a grudge towards the president, the woman who allowed it all to happen, don't you think? But just because President Strand is dead, doesn't mean his hate died with her. No, I think he redirected it towards Bridges. Towards you and Amelie and anyone close to the director. And now that hate is driving him to set in motion the last stranding. To bring an end to the world as we know it. Why else would Cliff hold Amelie hostage on the beach? He must know that she's an EE. There's no time to lose. You have to save her and the director. Though I still don't understand how he managed to travel to her beach in the first place. There must be more to their relationship. I'll see what I can find. Sam, it's about the director. So there's no way he could have made the jump to Amelie's beach if they didn't share a strong personal connection, right? Well, I looked, and I couldn't see one. The network should have contained something, anything, but there was nothing whatsoever. His entire life prior to his tenure with Bridges has been redacted. His name, his past, everything. There's no telling who he was. Which led me to consider another possibility. What if it isn't the director and Amelie who have a connection, but the director and Clifford Unger? And what if that connection is what facilitated the director's jump to Amelie's beach? If it's those two who have a personal history, then it might explain why Cliff is holding the director hostage as well. But even if that were the case, it doesn't answer the bigger question. How the hell did the two of them end up on Amelie's beach? Sam, Hartman here. There's something else I'd like you to consider. A guess, albeit an educated one, concerning Cliff's objective. Somehow, with the aid of the chiral network, our individual beaches have begun to coalesce, resulting in the formation of a single massive seam. Should this process continue, there is a risk that BTs will flood across into our world bringing about a death stranding on a heretofore unprecedented scale. Now, Clifford Unger's battlefields and my own beach appear to be unaffected by this phenomenon, existing entirely in isolation. They do not and have never intersected with others. But what if there were another class of beach, one that exists on a higher plane that was responsible for setting this process in motion? And what if the beach in question were none other than Armelies? Cliff may have summoned the director, but I believe his true aim was to seize control of Armelies beach, to exploit its power over every other beach, and trigger the last stranding. It's the only rational explanation for Cliff's actions, which is why you have to stop him. If Hartman's right, then we're in serious trouble. Using the chiral network in Amelie's beach to trigger the last stranding? That's why Higgs went after Amelie, wasn't it? If it was Cliff who put him up to it. Yeah, it all fits. With the last stranding, he'll finally have his revenge against the world that stole his life and his child. You've got to stop him, Sam. You've got to make the jump to Amelie's beach as soon as possible. Get in and get her back. It's our only hope. If you can't, 
then we're all doomed. Hand it over. Shoot him, John. Shoot him! I gave you an order. Shoot him!
be somewhere, right?
Where are you, baby?
Get back, Get back out there. Get back out there.
Baby, we're getting out of here. I promise. Give me back my baby. Are you cutter, Dunger? the father. They told me your name was Sam Porter. But you were Sam Bridges. My bridge to the future. to the future. Come on, Sam. Stand up.
any of that. Why are you helping me? They catch you. Because you saved my life, sir. Again and again. When the brass sent us into the jaws of hell, it was you that brought us home. Sam, uh, are you okay? I reviewed your logs. It looks like you were caught in a supercell and emerged an instant later on the other side of Ground Zero. Not far from Port Nott City. How'd I wind up here then? Remember, Victor? He found you lying unconscious by the harbor and brought you inside. I think Cliff might be Lou's father. He said. Give me back my BB. Impossible. Cliff was born. He gave me this. Maybe he's trying to tell us something. Something about the BBs, maybe. About how they were made. It didn't feel like he was trying to hurt us. It felt like... Like he just wanted to talk. But you said you saw him holding the director captive on the beach. Yeah. They must have some history we don't know about. Them and Bridget. Funny you should say that. I've got something you should see. Found it in the archives while I was digging around. It's a pre-recorded message from the director labeled, If I Don't Come Back. This message is insurance, in case something happens to me. For Bridget's eyes only. And I sure as hell hope that's who's watching. I got a little present from Amelie. Said she'd take me to the beach if I wanted. But I'd need this doll to show me the way. It's a trap. It has to be. But I've decided to play along. You've all been playing along too, haven't you? You know this mask hides more than just my face. Well, Emily's a blank slate too. No past. No record she ever existed. She's a ghost. And the thing about ghosts... I never met Emily in person. Have you? Ever seen her in the flesh, shook her hand, touched her? The original team we sent was divided into two groups. Emily was with the first. Mama and Hartman were with the second. They had no direct contact with her. Yes, Amelie's group was wiped out in Edge North City. Everyone but her. Everyone who could say whether or not she exists. Bullshit. She's real. We touched, all right? She and I both. Well, I've only ever interacted with her hologram. I'm telling you, I've met her. In person. Lots of times when I was little. Yes, but on the beach. Here's what the president had to say about her daughter. Emily was born on the beach. There her ka remained, though her ha came to this world. This 
division of body and soul forced her to spend most of her childhood in the hospital. But though her health was poor, her doom's numbers were off the charts. Her supernatural talents blossomed as she grew older and overcame her limitations. But by the time she was 20, she could travel to and from the beach, body and all. And that's where she started spending all of her time. Now, if you wanted to get in touch with Emily, it was by a hologram or nothing. The president insisted on that. I swore an oath to the president and to America. As far as I was concerned, her word was law. So when she said Amelie was her daughter and the best candidate to succeed her, I believed it. But when the archives were restored, I couldn't resist testing out my access privileges. And that's how I found out. Bridget was diagnosed with uterine cancer in her 20s and couldn't have children. You see, it doesn't add up, does it? There's no way Emily could be Bridget's biological daughter. So where'd she come from? Who is she? Is she even real? How can we be sure that Emily is an extinction entity when we don't even know if Emily is Emily? Hell, for all I know, the EE theory might be bullshit. But if it's not, if she's the cause of the Death Stranding, then I have to accept her invitation. I've loaded my gun with hermetic rounds. Sam's blood. It connects my gun to her, to me, to him, all of us means I should be able to take it with me to the beach. I'm going to stop what she started by stopping her. One last confession. I'm just a man. No powers. Nothing special. Don't have dooms. I can't repatriate like Sam either. Don't know the first thing about dying. I had never tried it. Yeah, I've been to hell. Every single battlefield was hell. But no matter how terrible it got, I never died. Because all I ever did was run from death. Well, I gotta go. She's calling for me. Bridges. Don't let me down. After he recorded this, the director jumped to the beach. Or rather, Amelie summoned him there. He had a gun to Bridget when I saw him. Then Cliff showed up, took him away. I thought he went to the beach to confront Amelie. Yeah, she was there too. She was the one who got me out. Huh. It's so obvious to me now. I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. It was Amelie who... What happened? The chiral network dropped out. According to Lakna, it won't be long before it's completely unusable. So all our hard work was for nothing. Let me finish what I was saying, sir. I'll tell him. Fraja, you look like shit. You should be resting. I know. I need to tell you something. I had a little chat with Higgs back on the beach. Didn't take much to make him talk. He say why he betrayed you? He said it was part of her plan. What? She was their leader. The terrorist void outs, the whole extinction agenda, Amelie was behind it all. Like hell she was. I know you don't want to believe it, but it lines up with what Die Hard Man said. Higgs turned on me after he met Amelie. 
At first, he was looking to expand his territory, and I had a power he could use. At least, that's how he ended up working with me. He was no terrorist. He just wanted to reach more people. But then she shows up with abilities that put mine to shame. Hell, she could even control BTs. So Higgs decides to go with her. And that's when she turned him into her agent of extinction. Amelie gave Higgs his power? Yep. She made him her homo demons. What about Bridget? You could have tell me what she was doing on the beach? You got an answer for that, too? I know it's a lot to swallow. But Higgs said himself that Amelie is an extinction entity. I looked inside his pod, and there was no BB in there. Take a good look at what was. It's the same doll Die Hard Man had. This is their bridge baby. There's this idea that the terrorists brought back BB Tech and Bridges was just following suit. It's garbage. Their methods and yours are completely different. Your BB links you to the world of the dead. Their doll links them to Amelie and her beach. You know who else had dolls like this? Cliff. He was carrying them on the battlefields. Cliff, Higgs, the director, all three of them were drawn in and controlled by this extinction entity. And who is this EE -E really? Is it Rigid? Is it Amelie? All I can say is that the answers are on the beach. What she wants and why. If we get to the bottom of that, then maybe we can still avert the last stranding. You've got to find her, Sam. Whoever she really is. Oh. She's waiting for you on the beach. Hurry back east. unstable so I'll keep this short we have a job for you fragile's condition is deteriorating if she slips into a coma there's a chance her soul might become stranded on the beach she needs crypto biots fast luckily for us fragile express keeps a stockpile there in Port Nord City so we'd like you to grab some for us while you're in the area all the details are on the terminal upstairs please Sam this is critical <laughs> 